Uh, uh, recently, I wanted to do a talk about how I would uh, dockerize a uh, an existing Wagtail project. Uh, the backstory is that, uh, like in January, I got a new computer, and we decided to uh, move everything we had for clients uh, uh, to Docker. <coughs> so. Uh, I want to maintain like a clean uh, host computer without any uh, libraries or Python stuff in it. So I only use Docker to develop locally. Uh, so it turns out that I don't have an existing uh, project on my computer. Like I couldn't create a base project <laughs> on my computer because uh, I don't have any of the dependencies. So it was a kind of a catch-22. Uh, so I flipped it, so I will show you how I created a small uh, template repository which will uh, allow you to create a uh, Docker, uh, Dockerized Wagtail project in you know a few minutes. But first, uh, this is a mis mistake many rookies do. They don't have the proper attire when working with Docker, so, you know. Um, okay, now I'm ready. Uh, yeah, so I created a small uh, template uh, repository which uh, you can use to uh, generate a product project. So I'm going to use this template. I'm going to create a my Wagtail site that's available. Create repository from template. So now I have the repository. I can. Uh, clone the repository locally, so I will open up a terminal. Uh, can you see this? No. Yeah. Okay. So I'll go to something like uh, oh geez, clone repository. So what I would do here is just uh, docker compose up uh, Ports already are located. Yeah, okay. So yeah, I run a lot of uh, dockers and sometimes they uh, conflict. So I have this uh, thing where I can uh, customize the port. Uh, so what I do initially is I, I let the, the container run in a kind of a an infinite loop, really. Uh, it's not doing anything at the moment, because when you have uh, an empty container, I I, I didn't want to go uh, the path of uh, like doing everything for you in the beginning, because you want to control perhaps uh, uh, the name of your project and stuff like that. So I would just do a Docker uh, compose exec, go into a shell and do a wagtail. Uh, Start my site in the current folder. Uh, I, I can do a manage migrate. Um, so now I'm going to stop the container again. I'm going to switch it over to the correct, correct uh, process. Run it again. Here it is. Thank you.